Uh, this is going to be uh, Scan versus Snow. And this is from ASL Qualifiers, day number one. And this is from the round of four. So after whoever wins this match gets to go on and play one more match, the winner of that goes into ASL. So, of course, uh, Scan has been in ASL before. He's made it to the finals of ASL Qualifiers like every single season uh, in at least one of the days. And then Snow has been in ASL, I think, every single season, including the finals twice. So uh, just an absolute monster. Uh, one of the best performing Protoss players in the world. So let's uh, let's check it out. This is Vermeer for game number one. It's a it's a pretty big map. Uh, I've liked Scan's play against Nexus first. I'm kind of hoping Snow goes Nexus first here so that we can see it again. But that ne that placement tells me he might not. Yeah, those Gateway Scout. Um, Gonna scout scan rather late there. Scan is going for the gas, so it looks like probably factory expand from him. It'd be pretty surprising to see anything else. Uh, based on scan's opener that he's been showing a little bit against Nexus first, uh, let me just talk about this a little bit in case you missed the videos against Paralyze, but uh, he has a build where he rallies a couple vultures down and just harasses the probes, and then he basically catches up worker wise against Protoss. Um, or somewhere within that realm, right? And uh, if something like that actually becomes somewhat meta, that might be the best overall counter to Nexus first. Because if you can just equalize, I think every Terran would take the equalization. Like, any Terran that's good would just take the equalization rather than the fucking weirdness that comes along with busting Nexus first. Because, like, if you don't bust Nexus first correctly, you auto-lose. And then, of course, cross spawn Nexus first. You can't bust. So there's a lot of issues with that. So I'm kind of, I'm really excited about the idea in general. Now, he's going to get down here and see no ne Nexus first. So I'll stop talking about that for now. But, uh, it, you know, when you're playing against Protoss players, you're going to hit it a fair amount of the time. Because it is so, so strong. So he's going to scout no, uh, we're going to see no range. The range just getting started as Scan gets in. He's got four Marines. He's completely safe. The Vulture has already gotten out. Uh, we have a Zealot, actually, that was hidden over here. Ooh. Not sure that he'll scout that. This move is kind of kind of dirty. If Terran does not literally scout you first, then they can't know if you have a Zealot on the map. Uh, and if you have a Zealot on the map and they think you don't... Once upon a time, this killed people. Because it was all three Marine Bunker Expands. And if this stuff comes up at three Marine Bunker Expand, you're dead. Uh, but that's part of what helped uh, Vulture Expands to actually become commonplace for Terran, where you go one Vulture before add-on, because as soon as you add a Vulture into the mix, the Vulture is, like, highly microbial. It does huge damage to shields. Uh, and, it, like, you can actually flick shot goons before they have range, where you're getting more shots on the goon than the goon is on the Vulture if you micro it really, really well. Uh, that plus the Marines has made it really stable. So moves like this no longer win the game, uh, but, you know, they, they can still be good moves. Like, look, he comes up. And while the goon could have killed this, and look, a second goon comes up, so there's, like, issues here. But if he hadn't gone for, you know, four marines plus the vulture, obviously he's in terrible shape. Now, you might be asking about the bunker. Like, okay, so if you want to go fast bunker, generally you're going to do that off two depots and three marines and no vulture. Although you could do three marine, one vulture bunker right after command center, right? But it's all about optimizing your early game to get as much out as you possibly can. Uh, so yeah, if you're going less Marines and then the Dragoon Zealot walks up, it makes a big difference. So second factory, looks like he wants to put some heavy pressure on. I don't, I don't know how much I like that because Snow does go Reaver so often, but we see here he's actually going 2-gate OB, so it actually it, it can do very well here. He cancels Siege, right? I'm pretty sure we just saw a cancel on Siege. Um, okay, there is the Reaver tech. Shuttle is only about halfway done. Already, Scan has killed off a Dragoon, which is pretty big. Look at this. Five, six tanks? Oh, my God. What is he doing? Oh, that's wild. This is not a normal build from Scan. So, the, if you go factory expansion uh, into two factory, right? That's a well-known pressure build. Uh, and it can be very good. Like, if they take a third Nexus off a of one gate or one gate robo, you'll kill it. 
Um, you can, if they're attacking quickly, like to Reaver, you can put some pressure on. Uh, normally you won't break them or anything if their micro is any good. But six tank is like, this is not, this is not normal. Uh, this is something you'll see with gasless expansions because you just kind of have a bigger bank. But this is, uh, this is a lot of power that he's, he's packing in here. I feel like this might be because he knows that Snow is not likely to do something like three gate obs. Or DT. He doesn't really play like that. Like, he does Reaver openings almost all the time. And while Reaver can be good against this, you have six tanks. You don't really care all that much. So, some great micro back and forth here. Great micro. Jesus. Snow's so good with that micro. Look at this. Trying to come up in flank. He's doing, like, as best as he can. And Scan has Siege. So, like, even if you have the Reaver, you're kind of screwed here. You can't just, like, drop the Reaver against the tanks in Siege Mode. There's enough supporting that if you do try to drop it, they'll just kill it. What a build. Now, I should mention that this build that Scan has done will auto-lose to any DT build. Yeah, no, Snow is dead. Snow, like, if Snow wins from here, it's... Scan screws up and the counter Reaver drop does so much damage. But, um... Yeah, just just to make it clear, right? Like he didn't get a it you maybe you can get a scout inside their base and see the robo and stuff and be fine, but any DT build will auto kill this. Like it, the DT will just walk out and kill everything because you have zero detection, right? We don't have an engineering bay, we don't have an academy. Mines are not coming that quickly with this because you're focusing so heavily on tank production, but a very powerful build against other stuff. Okay, it's a probe coming out for snow. Love it. Just throws the Nexus down. I've seen him do this before. To me, even. He busts his Nexus, and <laughs> he just makes another one immediately. Because it's so important to get up. But snow is looking very dead here, if you ask me. The bunker, the three tanks, mines everywhere. Down go the Nexus. There's almost no units. What a terrible situation. Because he forces the Reaver back. Not sure I would have gone up the ramp there just because you know that Snow is going to have a Reaver by now. But uh, turret going up is great. Okay, you can see just the power of Snow's Reaver right there. That was that was beautifully displayed where you see three tanks, one on Siege. They're split. A bunker that's full of Marines and a turret that's almost done. And he's like, oh, I can trade a Zealot and two health on my shuttle to kill a tank. And it's like, what? He truly is the greatest Reaver player in the world by far. It's, like, not even close, too. <laughs> like, what he gets done with these things is so crazy. Uh, but, yeah, that was... Uh, obviously, the four vultures there, I I do not like. It does force, like, if the... The one thing that it does do, if the Reaver was actually, like, here, you, you get it to turn around, which would make that vulture run up very, very powerful. So, basically, if, if he's countering, it's really strong. But look at this weird position now. We have this little containment up that's not doing anything because Snow is just bringing everything outside into the third. He, Scan does have some turrets and he's making a Wraith. The Wraith is going to be incredibly important. Still a very good position for Scan. I quite like the position for him. Uh, but, I mean, Snow is showing just, like, his, his level, right? Like, I mean, this guy goes to the ASL Finals relatively easily. In, in 13 seasons, he went twice, so that's pretty insane. Not many people have done that. Uh, but, like, the fact that he is just rebounding as quickly as he can like this and making the position difficult, like, it doesn't look like he's maybe 100% dead anymore. Look at this. You see these shots? Like, it's perfect juggling. Perfect juggling. Look at this. He kills every mine. He's pushing everything back. God. It's absolutely insane. The Wraith coming in. A little bit of fanciness from Scan there. Take a look at what Scan's doing. Go up to 5 fact. I really do like 5. Oh, is he going to go 6? And by the way, look at this. Like, seriously. Scarab damage. Okay. He's already got shuttle speed. He's going for Scarab damage. So that gives plus 25 to Scarabs. Now, 
Uh, historically, that wasn't used until just recently against Terran, and the reason why it was added in, uh, because it doesn't change the amount of shots that Scarabs take to kill any of the units that Terran has. It's like still, even with that, it leaves uh, a Goliath with a hit point. It, it doesn't kill a tank. Scarab either way kills vultures, but specifically the mass spat mass speed shuttle style if you have reaver damage look at this block okay if you drop two reavers here like let's say the reavers drop right here or right here that's a turret there let's say they drop right here and you target this depot with two reavers here it now takes two volleys and you kill all four depots so that's that's what the plus damage does right because four scarabs four times 125 that's 500 that's a depot health. So it's basically like you just burn down. Uh, so that's why the, the the damage upgrade can be very good. Because the thing is, the Terran base, you have to clump your depots too. Occasionally you see a Terran that spaces depots and they can't max out. Like if you space the depots, Reavers become much weaker and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's just you literally can't fit them then. Like, you actually can't. You you guys watch me play all the time. You see that, like, you... To max on depots, you, he's going to have to fill in, like, that plus here. And he might even need, like, two down here. <laughs> like, it's it's a crazy amount. Uh, but, yeah. It's, uh... I imagine that's why he's getting it. I mean, Snow in general it gets so much usage out of his Reavers that I'm sure he'll... he'll even if he's not hitting depots, that's probably going to help him. But it is a kind of an expensive upgrade. So, it's, you know, it's just... Ooh, that's kind of a cute move. Tries to run a couple in now. The game is getting a little bit bigger. So Snow moves out of the map. Look at this. This is the most random expansion that he can think of. This is a map with a lot of bases around the edge. So it's actually very hard to scout all these bases. It's not as straightforward as something like Polypoid. So he does the break. Does it pretty efficiently overall. But here comes Scan's push. That's a lot of tanks. A lot of vultures coming as well. Dude, S snow is ridiculous. Like, pretty much every Protoss in the world would have just probably left the game like a few seconds after losing the Nexus to that push. But, like, snow is doing a good job. He still looks dead to me, right? It's like five facts. He's still building wraiths for, for the anti-air. Plus one is not done yet, but that's okay. Enough turrets. Like, the push is coming. It's only four gates and reaver tech. So I would say Scan has still got this. But it's ridiculous. The Like, he's making Scan work for every point. If you get lazy like I have this morning and stop trying for even a second, Snow's going to kill you. And look at that. Even with the Wraith there, he just flies out. He's like, yeah. It's going to cost me uh, one Zealot, and I'm going to kill another tank. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. And look at this. He catches the reinforcements. It's wild. But Scan kills us off. So Snow is literally, like, one base once again, and Scan has taken his third. One thing that's kind of interesting is Scan had to keep a lot of pressure on this game because he did do that heavy tank two-factory build. So his anti-air is really limited just to the rates he's been making. Uh, he really needs the vultures, to be honest, like for tanking, for mines, for, for reinforcement. So it's hard to add goliaths in, because I'm sure a lot of people are looking at this and saying, well, why doesn't he just get a few goliaths? Well, if some of these pushes that you've seen, if he makes, let's call it four goliaths, right? Because it takes four goliaths, two shots, two volleys to kill a shuttle. So three doesn't make sense. So it's like one or two can make sense, four can make sense, three doesn't make sense. So let's call it four Goliaths, because I'm sure that's what a lot of people watching this would be like, yeah, why don't you get like four, right? So you can two-shot the shuttle. Uh, so if you make four, first off, it takes six more seconds for the Goliath to make than the Vulture. Obviously, it costs more money as well. And then the rally time takes more. And then there's no mines. And then it doesn't fight as well against things like Zealots. Uh, not that it's terrible, but he's been trying to just deal with this with like one wraith at a time which is just telling snow to not sit over his tanks and do whatever he wants uh but yeah it, it's just kind of this funny position where you see snow continue to get value with the shuttles because there is a lack of anti-air but there's no there's no good way i think for scan to get anti-air over here i actually think the wraith was the best choice for him
even though it's very hard to use, it's a lot more APM. It's like snow is dodging it and stuff. It takes a while for the Wraith to kill the shuttle, but it's at least some deterrent. And the game's been so dirty, it's been hard for him to like bring an SCV to build a turret either. Although that could be very good. Obviously, if you get a turret down, it's really strong. All right, this game looks over to me, honestly. Oh yeah, Snow does have this base. I actually forgot. I'm like, he's on one base. Totally forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, this is... There's really nothing left here now. That's a that's a big win, man. Taking Snow down in game one of the qualifier is pretty sick. He's so good at the precise stuff. It's actually crazy. Scan just trying to keep up with that macro at home. Down goes another Wraith. <laughs> yeah, obviously if you can do something. I'm not sure exactly which terrain here is buildable. It looks to me like this is buildable, but this is all not buildable, I believe. I haven't played Vermeer that many times, so I'm not used to it yet. Yeah, he finds this base finally. Notice he put mines everywhere. This is... And there's the Goliath. Hey, guys, we're here. <laughs> See what I was talking about? <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> By the time they get there, it's all over. Right? It's, like, actually so important to rally quickly. <laughs> This couldn't have been more perfect, actually. It's like exactly what I said. Oh, God. All the army's dead by the time they get down there. All right, GG. So that was game one of Scan versus Snow. Uh, really cool build there from Scan with the six tank push. And Snow, like, holding on insanely well.